So today we are going to talk about the Mobark Advancement Flap. It is used to cover the soft tissue defect of the thumb tip. It is basically an advancement flap. Before discussing Mobark flap, we need to know the unique blood supply of the thumb. Thumb is supplied by two digital arteries that is radial and ulnar digital arteries. It is it arises from the princeps pollicis artery, which is the terminal continuation of the terminal part of the radial artery, which entered the palm through the first web space. And it also receives contribution from the deep palmar arch and also from the superficial palmar arch. But what makes the thumb unique that the dorsum of the thumb got an independent blood supply from dorsalis pollicis artery. It is a branch of the terminal part of the radial artery and so when we raise the flap uh, based on both digital artery and sacrifice all the perforators to the dorsum of the thumb, the dorsum of the thumb does not face any problem surviving because it got an independent blood supply from dorsalis pollicis artery which is lack in all other fingers. Another feature is that the position of the digital artery is 0.5 cm volar to the mid axial line. So when we flex the thumb, the tip of the crease, this is the mid axial line. So approximately the uh, digital artery should be here in the radial side and on the ulnar side. So it should be uh, close to here. So we uh, get the digital arteries uh, and the digital nerve should be just volar to the digital arteries. Now we assume that there is a defect at the tip of the thumb. So we assume that there is a defect here and we can cover up to 1 to 2 cm of the defect with this flap. So we, uh, this is the bones, this is the uh, terminal part of the distal phalanx and this is the flexor pollicis longus tendon which we encounter at the proximal part of the distal phalanx but I already draw it here for better understanding. So the area of the flap is from the corner of the defect up to an area just proximal to the MP joint crease that is from corner of the defect up to an area just proximal to the MP joint crease and on both sides the mid axial line that is here and here and here. So we get the digital arteries, we get the flap. Another point is there are some perforators from the digital arteries just uh, proximal and distal to the eye joints which we encounter while elevating the flap. These are the, uh, we can get perforator here. Do not forget the principle of hand surgery that is good light, good surgeon, hand table and tourniquet. Now we give incision to the mid axial line that is here along this line as this is the flap area and here. So we give incision to the mid axial line here and I assume that I can see the mid axial line here and we start dissecting. 
at the distal part we raise the skin and subcutaneous tissue of the periosteum and when we move proximally then we dissect the skin and subcutaneous tissue of the tendon of the APL that is we leave the periosteum and flexor pollicis longer longest tendon we encounter the by uh, perforators at some point and we use the bipolar diathermy after flap elevation the flap will look like this and then when we get enough advancement we advance the flap and stitch it directly the final result of the mobark flap should be look like this now if we don't get enough advancement we have four options first we can slightly flex the ip joint and close the defect directly it won't cause any problem or much problem in post operative period if it cause it will just uh, if we advise some physiotherapy it will just get better the second option is we make an incision at the base of the flap a, a v incision and making the flap an island flap we just incise the epidermis and dermis and leave the subcutaneous tissue and it will help to advance the flap more and to the donor area uh, the donor area which will make another defect we can close it with a triangular flap that is we can uh, we draw it here and we just rotate the flap here and um, close it with this or we can um, close the flap in a vy fashion we uh, advance the flap and close it with a vy fashion the number third option is we can put baro triangle on either side of the flap and advance it more and the fourth option is when we make a transverse incision at the base of the flap then the defect that is created at the donor area we can cover it with a full thickness skin graft So that's all about Mobark flap. Thank you.